faith in Bee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. What is going on, everybody? Back in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus video. Hopefully we do better than we did last night. And we are not going to be continuing that run, unfortunately. We will start anew. And let's go. Little boy has joined us. Oh, for God's sakes. All right. A big fat no on that one. Cheers, Ruth, to let Jumpy on! I'm telling you, man, AEW delivered. Okay. Oh, yeah, what's, what's this gonna do? Well, Wow, our damage went through the roof. If you hear a little bit of like a fan going on, yeah, it's stupidly hot in this house tonight. Hey, that's an all stats hub, top of roof. Yeah, okay. You're complaining earlier that you were dying in your room. Yeah, really hard. Ow! Okay. Da -da 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 -da. What kind of nonsense is this? Game, you're already... You're already on a short leash. Thank you. We got the AC going, but it's just still super hot here. Hey, wait, where did my... Oh, wait, I still have... That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Wire hanger is going to be another all stats up. We are already rocking and rolling, baby. And if you want to play this C, this C is going to be, of course, Curse of the Blind. Y G D P <coughs> B F Dairy Queen. Give you guys a second, write that down or take that screenshot. This run is already freaking great. Oh my god. Don't mind if I do. Ah! And Curse of the Blind, too, of course. Take this. 
Oh my god, our shots are huge. The one where... The one I had where I fucked up? Oh my god. Greatest movie of all time, Forrest Gump. You should already know that about me, Keenan. <laughs> Forrest Gump's my all-time favorite. Oh, yours. Yes, yes, yes. I remember now. You remember? I remember. I remember, you remember. I think we should take both of these. Treasure map. Okay, so now we can go back. See what we did there? Still get our treasure map. Two of clubs is top of roof. We're not going to take the hourglass. No. So let's go. Magic scab. Oh. How about we go angel deals today? Member Barry's member. What? <laughs> La -dee -dum. You piece of shit. No, I don't remember that. I haven't watched South Park in forever. Oh my god! What have I done to receive this? My goodness. Do you get like... Just like, you're just like sitting there, just like walking down the street or something. You get like a random smell. And it's like, that's cereal. I just got there right now. I just smelled cereal. I get it all the time. Yeah, Forrest Gump's the greatest movie of all time. If I if I'm in a mood and like I watch Forrest Gump, I I fall like a baby. I will legitimately just start crying. The part when he's standing at the grave talking to her. And he talks about little Forrest, how he's so smart, and he cr his voice cracks. And it's like, oh my god, Forrest, you're pulling him out of our strings. Oh come on! Tom Hanks is probably the greatest actor of our generation, anyway. But you can't name a movie that, that he's been in that he wasn't great. You can't do that. It's just not... It's not... Why are there so many spiders? It's not a thing. Isn't there, is there like, an Actors Hall of Fame or some crap like that? If there's not, there should be. 
Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you schlub. Let's get an angel deal. We got a devil deal. Nope. Not gonna do it. Your favorite wrestler of all time? All time? I sh I How do I I know this. I know I know this. How do I How is this not like automatically popping up in my head? I think it's Stone Cold. I want to say it's Steve Austin. I don't know why I, I'm not remembering this right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because I, I knew it was like... I knew it was a legendary guy, and I knew he wasn't active now. I still say one of the loudest crowd reactions I've ever I've ever heard personally was uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin coming out, uh, Times Union Center. God, this was the year like 1998 during the invasion angle when like Kurt Angle joined WCW you know all that stuff like, everybody came out Booker T Undertaker Kane Big Show Van Dam, Rocky was out and the last per uh, Kurt Angle came out and hit like an Olympic slam on like the Undertaker and we're all just waiting we're waiting we're waiting and the glass shatters and everybody there it was sold out Times Union Center holds like 18,000 people it was Deafening for Steve Austin. Same thing with Rocky back then. Rocky Austin was was more popular, but I mean Rocky's had more success in life, really. The guy makes three hundred million dollars a year in movies. It's insane. Uh we'll take holy water. I really don't care for that other item. Your favorite tag team? Uh, I'm gonna say you're. It, it's tough. You might be Road Warriors or you might be Dudleys. Yeah, it might be Road Warriors or Dudleys. gonna buy the ladder. Yep. <laughs> okay. The secret room should be here. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I got I got to go. We got to go toward the guppy dream here. All right, let's continue on. Keenan, what's your favorite tag team of all time? This might be the Hardys. 
Might be the Hardys or Edge and Christian. <clears throat> oh, get that away from me. Wow, all right. <laughs> no. Oh, God, Chris Jericho and Big Show? <clears throat> that was like a thrown-together tag team. I think Miz and Big Show were better. I'm surprised you didn't say Kane and Undertaker. and Chavo. Eh, they were okay. Rock and Sock was cool. Not my favorite, like, I'm biased, of course, to the New Age Outlaws. You all know why. <laughs> Yeah, Brothers of Destruction were legit. You get two seven-foot guys? Come on. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I've heard that so many times in my life. I've been in the ring with him when he has said it. It's so great. Show you how it's done, kid. that room. Um, how bad? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, wow, God, we lose three damage if we take, take this away. I don't think so. Let's go. This is starting to really, 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 really come together. Oh my god, don't mind if I do. Definitely take blanket. Our money's back. Let's see if Wolf knows this, okay. First wrestler that Keenan met. I think I know this. Well, actually, it's a trick question. I'm the first wrestler you met. <laughs> it's a trick question, Keenan. You can't trick the guy. Well, no, 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 no. He's not WWE. He's NXT. Oh, you 
invisible jerk. Nope. <laughs> then I have no idea. He doesn't watch NXT, Keith. Probably gonna be greed. It's not. We haven't had a reroll machine. What is up with that? We're gonna be nice to our machine here if we can. <clears throat> no! Okay, uh, don't tell him yet. Same stable. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, keep. No! It's wrong! I'm wrong. It's not the NXT guy. Keenan just messaged me. I forgot. It's not the NXT guy. Oh, I com I completely forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot about that, but I did. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like legend like legend <clears throat> now I was thinking because Keena and I used to go to wrestling shows I don't have any money they used to have uh, local wrestling shows here all the time, and it featured um, local ta local talent. <clears throat> nope, neither one of those two. Oh, Vader. <laughs> Vader was the first name I actually got to step in the ring with. Besides my trainers. That was an interesting night. Go ahead, Keenan. Tell him. I won't say anything unless you want me to keep guessing. I'm sure Keenan's got the picture available, too. It's probably on his phone. <laughs> Met him when he was maybe got Keenan was maybe two. <clears throat> I walked over and Hulk Hogan's like, Yeah, let me take him, brother and he just like basically grabbed him, sat down, took a picture with him. He was he was pretty nice. We could get Boss Rush, but the damn map wants to be a pleb. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me with this? No, none of that's worth this. Head on down. Oh yeah, I remember you told me that. Larry the Axe. Fucking legend. Oh my god. <clears throat> Larry the Axe was like... That dude was like a legit... Tough mofo that you don't mess with back in the 60s and 70s. <clears throat> and the second that they found out 
that his son was going to wrestle, they're like, oh my god, is he going to be the same way? And it's the opposite. Kurt Henning was the ultimate finesse wrestler. One of the greatest, in my opinion, to never win a world championship. Well, no, I'm thinking Rick Rude. No, no, he, Kurt Henning was AWA champion. But that wasn't like WWE, you know, because Hulk Hogan wouldn't drop the title to him. <clears throat> but that's true. Hogan absolutely refused to drop the championship to Mr. Parfait. And, and, did you know that Kurt Henning was not the first choice to be called Mr. Perfect? The story goes, McMahon had two ideas that he really, really liked. One was the idea of Mr. Perfect, and the other one was the idea of the Red Rooster. So it was down to Kurt Henning and Terry Taylor. And Vince McMahon... Okay. Vince McMahon... Told, I gotta be careful here. Told Pat Patterson, you make the choice on who's gonna be who. And that's what Pat Patterson did. Pat Patterson was the one that actually gave Mr. Perfect the title Mr. Perfect. He could have been the Red Rooster. <laughs> but that went to Terry Taylor. And Terry Taylor is a tremendous wrestling mind. He's he, Even now, he's, a, he's amazing. He's a genius. That guy knows his shit. I think Terry Taylor actually works for... for um, All Elite Wrestling now. I think. I know Dean Malenko does. I didn't think he would know it. He knows who Mr. Perfect is. Come on, stop wasting my time. These things are terrible. I'll be in a certain spot. Probably going to be Krampus. Yep. <laughs> Kidding me. I will take Lump of Coal. Not Adam Cole. Lump of Coal. Bang, bang. Take the Empress card. No titties. Yeah, because, like, well, even now, like, people are, like, oh, yeah, he does all the time. Uh, <laughs> people will talk about Mr. Perfect's kid. And people are, like, Mr. Perfect's kid was a wrestler? Yeah, he, he was a, he's a damn good wrestler. But WWE just didn't use him correctly. WWE missed out on, on, uh, Joe Henning. Curtis Axel, like, I just, I just don't understand the concept of the second and third generation stars just not getting an opportunity. He got an opportunity, don't get me wrong, he, he was their continental champion for a little while. A woman, man! He's Slater. <laughs> he came back, he was, he was on Raw. He was on Raw with maybe the most boring champion WWE has seen since Kofi Kingston and Drew McIntyre. I am so bored with him. Oh my god. He's not doing anything. What is this? Uh, come on, maybe you give me something nice. Oh, then I'll leave. See you later. Or 
right now, everything is all about, in my opinion, wrestling wise, all elite wrestling. Um, Fighter Fest was a good, a great success, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know what they did tonight in NXT because I do not watch NXT. And then I don't know about uh, SmackDown. Yeah, I, cu I cut down on moderators, man. Not the personal. Let's cut down moderators. <laughs> but next week is going to be Fight for the Fallen. The card looks good already. And if they if they put the championship on Brian Cage, I wouldn't be surprised. What could it be now? Gosh. Thought she was going the other way. Uh, we are not fighting Hush with this. Absolutely not. It's But here's the thing. You guys, you, you don't know this. John Moxley's wife is Renee Young, who works for WWE. She tested positive for COVID. Um, yeah, she tested positive for COVID. He's been exposed. That's why he hasn't been... Um, shit. In AEW. He took a personal leave of oh personal leave of absence. Don't cry, everything is fine. <laughs> so right now, oh that's fantastic. <clears throat> if he really can't, he hasn't tested positive. I know for a fact. Moxley's been tested three times. He has not been positive. But, if he is still in danger of infecting others, I, I support stripping him of the title. Not really stripping him, but having him lose to Brian Cage. Alright. Made of a ton. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I, I, I honestly do think Mox is going to retain, but it's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Finally! Alright, now is your time, your opportunity, if you want to cash in this run becoming a rerun. Oh, wow. The time is now. Remember, we're, we're, when we get 50,000 schlebs put back into the channel, we do the no chests, no shop run. Which hopefully I'll remember. <laughs> Very good.
Cheers, Aru, everybody. I should probably give the seed one more time here, huh? I should do that twice in a video. So here's the seed. It's going to be YGDP Boyfriend Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. There's one like, oh gosh, maybe 15 minutes away from here? I just never had it. Oh, you pleb. Wow, okay, didn't want to come in this room. Yeah, I've never had it. I'll be honest with you, if you guys don't want to cash in, save your save your schlebs because I really do want to do a rerun with this. Whoa, hello. This would be a fun rerun. Excuse me. <clears throat> really? Didn't we just have this? This room must smell like roses. Oh my god. Thank God we don't have to do a speed run here. Everybody go that way! Go that way! Alright. 
done it. 33-27. Hayes done. Oh, rubber cement's top row. Enjoy the ending credits. Hang out if you're watching on Twitch. Yeah, I think we'll do a, a freebie rerun here. This was a fun run. Maybe a game of Wheel of Fortune after your boys are up, are up to it. <clears throat> Be right back. 